What's happening everyone, Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. A week ago today, we saw the release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac Games exclusively on the PlayStation 5, and it is nothing short of a masterpiece. It is a fantastic game that I absolutely loved. I have the Platinum Trophy, and I just can't stop thinking about a lot of the things that happened in the game. Now, obviously, if you haven't uh, completed the game, or especially if you haven't gotten to the final arc of the story, there are going to be a few spoilers here, so just beware. Maybe come back to this. Whatever you choose to do, I let you know in advance. Um, I want to talk about something that popped up on social media the other night, something I hadn't really thought about, even though as I was experiencing the game, I absolutely thought about Donny Cates and his run on Venom. Along with Donny Cates, uh, we had Ryan Stegman. The two of them uh, just put out some absolute blockbusters uh, with uh, the Venom run, Absolute Carnage, and of course, King in Black. And a lot of the themes and imagery that we saw in those comics were very prevalent in the final arc of Marvel Spider-Man 2. And uh, I happened to see Donny Cates uh, do a quote tweet uh, from someone. And uh, it was very interesting because uh, that person... Uh, essentially said, Insomniac better have paid Cates and Stegman for Spider-Man 2. Like, it's kind of genuinely really shitty if they didn't see anything for this game. Uh, there's hardly any Venom stuff TBH, but what's there is ripped straight from their work. And, uh, you know, Donnie obviously uh, responded with Tom Hardy making a hoo boy face and... Uh, the tweet's right. Um, I there's there's no doubt in my mind uh, that the folks at Insomniac cannot claim ignorance. Uh, they absolutely looked at those three main stories, and uh, they based a lot of what they did at the end off of those runs. And I didn't think of going through the credits until then, because like most people, when the credits roll, it's kind of like, all right, cool, let's just get through. Let's see if there's a mid credit or an end credit scene, and there were. And uh, you kind of ignore it because most people don't know any of those people. But for the people that are in the credits, it's extremely important. And it is kind of a controversy within the industry because there are some uh, studios that leave people out of the credits uh, when they don't finish the project. Even if the project takes five years and someone is on the project for four and a half years, they're not there for the last, you know, ha like half year of the project. They move on to something else and they get left out of the credits. That's a thing that happens all the time. And for the people that are in the credits, it's very important to them uh, to be able to show their work, to, to prove that they were a part of it. And, uh, you know, for the personal satisfaction as well. Uh, so I went through the credits. I watched them all, all of it. It's long. And, uh, you know, they thank Stan Lee and Steve Ditko for creating uh, Spider-Man. They thank Brian Michael Bendis and someone else for creating Miles Morales. But absolutely nowhere in the entirety of the credits is there any mention of Donny Cates or Ryan Stegman. And that is... Is a tragedy. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I understand how contracts work. Uh, I'm not going to understand what uh, was signed over to Marvel Comics uh, when Donnie and Ryan went through and, and created these runs. I don't know what ownership they have. I don't know if uh, it's very possible that uh, there is some kind of a contra contractual obligation with the estate of Stan Lee that any character he ever created, he has to be mentioned in, in any use, in any form of media. And maybe maybe Donny Cates and Ryan Segman don't have something like that, but, uh, and I certainly don't know uh, how compensation works, but um, there is no argument that can be made that their works were not referenced absolutely directly and almost brought over not quite verbatim but like they were definitely used in the final arc you cannot tell me the hive mind symbiotes were not 100 percent based on the designs from those runs you cannot tell me that those wings that venom grew were not literally shot for shot remake of what happened uh, to Venom in the comics. These are all things that absolutely uh, were taken, borrowed, whatever you will, from those creators. 
And to not give them any kind of recognition is kind of crazy. Uh, I trust Insomniac uh, with my life, okay? I think they are one of the studios that are out there, one of the very few that if they put out a game, you know it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be made with a lot of heart, love, and care, and uh, you're going to have a good time with it. And that doesn't change, um, but it's shocking to me that these guys weren't credited. And to be fair, okay, there is, you know, this the Miguel O'Hara 2099 suit. There's the Scarlet Spider suit. There's a number of other suits that were created by other people, and I don't believe they were uh, thanked or or referenced either. We look back at the uh, Eidos Montreal Guardians of the Galaxy game, and they did it amazingly. Every single thing is referenced. You got comic book runs, you got artists, you got everything listed in the suits. And I think that is a great model. Uh, and if there's a way to do that in future games, I think people should um, to kind of tie in the creation that inspired what's in the game for people that don't know. In this case though, where it's so blatant that things were taken from those comics. I mean, there is a King in Black suit. Uh, there is a Age of Carnage suit. Like, uh, Miles has those, uh, as he should. He's a big part of those stories. Um, you know, it, it's insane to me uh, that Donny Cates got nothing out of this. Like, it seems like he didn't use any words. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a huge Donny Cates fan. I've met him a couple times. Uh, I have the Venom Funko Pop where he has the wings autographed by Donny Cates, you know, along with a Cosmic Ghost Rider. Like he's he's done a lot of great things. Ryan Stegman is an amazing artist. Uh, they have done great things in the Marvel Universe. And I think moving forward, we are going to start seeing a lot of their works referenced and, uh, and used in all forms of entertainment. So uh, I really think Insomniac needs to do the right thing here. Uh, they need to patch in a scene or two into the credits or maybe even alter the scene uh, where, you know, Bendis, Lee, and Ditko get their thanks and add in, um, you know, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman because the third act of, or the final act of this game does not happen the way that it does without them. Impossible. No shot. Okay. They didn't think of that on their own. It was absolutely inspired. I mean, all right. I guess I can't say with a hundred percent certainty that they didn't think of it on their own maybe they had an idea of it but i doubt it okay like this is <laughs> this is the carnage and venom and king and black runs it is you know um and i really think that uh insomniac owes it to them to at a bare minimum say thank you in the credits give them a line in the credits uh because it's the right thing to do like there's no shot uh, that, that any of this happens without them. And uh, I don't know, man. I, it's it's something that, you know, you kind of think about as you start to ingratiate yourself into the industry a little bit more and uh, and see the disappointment of people uh, that are actually devs that, that run into this situation. Um, again, I don't know what contracts are. Maybe, maybe it's all A-OK -okay, uh, legally and technically because Marvel said, yeah, go ahead and do that. Or maybe Marvel said, we want to do that. I still feel like you owe Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman acknowledgement. Acknowledge me. Or them. You know what I mean? I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Um, I feel like a lot of you are probably also fan uh, fans of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. And uh, you've probably read all of these runs. And when you played it and experienced it in the game, you thought the same thing. You know, this is awesome. I, I thought, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. This is great for them. And I thought about Donny Cates and, and Ryan Stegman a lot during it because I'm like, man, this has got to be great for them. Turns out, mm, not so much. Uh, and I, I feel bad because, you know, Donny Cates was in a horrific accident uh, not too long ago. And uh, I hope he has a really great recovery. And uh, that has nothing to do with not being given the proper acknowledgement in this video game, which I hope he also gets. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll see you.